Hi friends, it's Natasha. Thanks for joining me today. I have a kettlebell complex class. We're gonna join two to three kettlebell exercises together in a mini flow. One minute of exercise, 20 seconds rest. You might wanna start with a slightly lighter kettlebell than you're used to just so we can get the moves down. And then maybe you do it a second time through and challenge yourself with a heavier bell once you have the flows. They won't be too hard to get. Um, but you can always hit pause, practice a little bit, and then join back in when you're ready. We'll start with a warm up and then we'll have a timer up on the big screen. All right, let's inhale, stretch it up. Exhale, come on halfway, fold. Lengthen through the hamstrings, engage your abdominals, and then bend the knees and drop over those thighs. Shake out the head, no, and yes. And then like a pendulum, ear to bicep. Take a couple breaths as you start to hang heavier and maybe, maybe start to straighten those knees out. Ragdoll yourself up, rounding up vertebrae by vertebrae. Let's get those shoulders activated and making big circles, elbows around. We were hitting the shoulder joint and then we'll get to the hips. Good, and then a little back stroke. Your hips can go for the ride. Twist. Again, we're bringing our feet and pivoting on the ball of the foot so the knee and hip go with you. Twist it out. You got it. Get wrists. Let's flex and point a few times. We're gonna make a tight fist and do some blinks like you're flicking water off your fingertips. Flick, 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 nice and fast. Same thing overhead. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shake. Okay, pull your fingers back. Press your palm down. Other side, pull your fingers back gently. Find those edges where it feels safe, but you're feeling the stretch. Nice work. All right, give those wrists a shake and we're gonna do some hip circles here. Big circle sweep, internal to external rotation. Make it as big as you can. We're gonna swing the leg forward and back. If you're off balance or you have a wall next to you, feel free to put your fingertips on that wall. Breathe. Good, and then just switch. Watch that you're not gonna kick your kettlebell. And then shoes are always optional. It's kind of fun to do barefoot training, but if you are worried at all that you're gonna drop your kettlebell, wear shoes, be safe. Okay, let's walk it out. Plank walk, start with wide feet and then dip those hips through a little up dog, back bend on toes, stretching the arches of the feet. Spread your fingers, anchor into your fingers, engage your glutes, zip back to plank, walk back. Shake out those wrists if you need to and do it two more times. Plank walk, hip swing, zip to plank, walk back, walk it out, hip swing, good, zip to plank, let's stay here. We're going to step outside our right pinky lizard lunge, you can drop the back knee, step it back, plank, Left foot outside, pinky, drop the back knee if that feels good. Maybe swivel the hips a bit, two more. One more time, right and left. You could sit up, bring your shoulders over your hips on the last one. Step, switch, step your shoulders over your hips on the last one, good. Now bring both knees towards each other and about shoulder width apart. A little camel sweeps. Maybe you can touch your heel or hand right into the low back or rib cage. Last two. Okay, cat cow on forearms, round, arch, round, arch, exaggerate. On the round, tuck your tailbone, squeeze your belly. On the arch, retract your shoulder blades, squeeze your back, stretch the belly. All right, we're gonna tuck our toes, settle into those feet for a big toe stretch, arch of the foot stretch, and then if you have the mobility to rock into yogi squat, 
and then all the way up to standing. We're gonna do a really quick set of deadlifts. For this one, if you have something really heavy, go for that. It's just to wake up the body, get used to bearing weight, using the back, using the core. So squeeze the belly, elongate the spine, tailbone back, chest forward, and drive straight up, straight down, straight up. You can squeeze your glutes at the top. Perfect. Let's go four, three, two, same thing, but we're going to stag from side to side so that we are putting our weight into one foot and then the other. Side to side deadlift, flat back, don't let the spine round. Most of that weight's in the standing leg, the tiptoe is light. Four, three, two, and finally, some swings. Thrust your kettlebell in between your legs, hips back, hips forward. Your swing can come about shoulder level, eye level, or maybe 45 degrees if your bell's quite light. Hips thrust forward. Exhale, it's not a big dip, it's really efficient. Right between those thighs. Right by your crotch. <laughs> Four more. Exhale. Three. Two. Explosive. One. Soft knees. Set it down. Walk it out. You got it. All right. Set that heavier bell away. And we're going to come on down. The first row will stay seated. So have your bell handy so you don't have to get back up. I'm going to get up to put the timer on, but you don't have to do that. So right here, the drill is going to be moving through 90, 90s or little mini pigeons. Let's start with a hip thrust and then like windshield wipers, practice lifting your knees and dropping them off side to side. So one internally rotates, push the knee down, one hip externally rotates. Try to get both knees to the ground, and then that reverse table hip thrust. Squeeze the glutes. You don't have to drop the head back, but you can. Have seat side to side. So try not to move the feet, just the hips. Good. And the knees swivel side to side. Hip thrust. Good. And finally, we're going to hold a boat, shake out the wrists. You can modify by holding on this shin parallel to mat or high V hold, waking up hip flexors, quads, and core. All that connects here. You could keep it here or give me little L drops. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, I think we're warm. Come into a little low yogi squat using your hands or no hands to get up. Pry the knees apart, stretch the groin. A couple thoracic twists, lifting one elbow and then the other using your tricep to press your knee away, pressing into the base of the skull here. All right, so. My timer is going to go really quick to start. We're going to hold the kettlebell and work on those little rotations and we're going to add a hip thrust on the shin and knee. So if you don't have a cushion under your joints, perhaps getting a blanket or a thicker mat or doubling up a mat might be a good way to go. This timer is going to start really quick. So let's get into position. Go. Rotate, hip thrust. We're just going to hold the weight right at our chest. <sighs> Exhale. Sit, rotation, hip thrust. Good. Try to smooth it out as best you can. This is the only drill here that's not a complex drill with multiple moves. It's just back and thrust side to side. <sighs> 
and you can face whatever direction you want to go. Be mindful, you do not have to work any certain pace. Our second move is a side lunge clean to clean and a lunge with a push press. It's coming up next. Good. Side lunge, clean, push press lunge. Here we go. Take it to the side. Clean and tap, push press lunge back. Keep it the same side. Weight to toe, rack it, push press and lunge. So we just got two moves together. If you're not familiar with a clean, a dumbbell might work better today. You're just wrapping the kettlebell around the arm with that swift move and momentum. We don't want to Slam it down on the forearm. If you're new to the move, I suggest maybe uh, wrist wristbands and just practicing rotating it. Push press as you lunge. Side lunge, reach, clean, push press. Almost there. We'll just switch sides to your right arm. I gotta put the beeping on louder. Can't hear it. All right, great. Let's see if I can get some volume. Okay. Other side. There we go. Side lunge, clean. Tap and then full lunge, push press. Pretty simple. Focus. Focus on that form, getting that push press strong from the lats and the shoulder, no saggy elbows. Getting the clean, that nice smooth wrap that doesn't slam on the forearm. <sighs> Halfway. That was what was missing, that sound, so I can hear the timer. <sighs> Breathing, exhale, on exertion. Okay, we have a zigzag, clean, rotational press, and then we're gonna do another side lunge and a switch. Left hand starts, turn, Right, clean left, push press, pull it in, step it out, switch hands. Rotate left, right, left, pull it in, lateral lunge again, switch hands. Good, take it side, clean, press. Everything rotates and then step with the weight. The hand that has the weight, is the one that we lunge. So the opposite, rotation, clean, press, step out, switch. Rotation, left, right, left. And again, if you are a little bit off and doing something slightly different, that's okay too. Come down to plank. We're gonna pull the weight side to side and then jump forward alternating arms, single arm swing. So pull it across, pull it across. Jump in, grab the weight, turn to it. Alternating single arm four times. Come down, set it down to the side, jump back, pull it over, pull it over, jump in. You can just open up your legs, single arm, switch at the top. One, 
one then switch. Hopefully we'll get three rounds in. Set it down. Jump back. Pull it across. Pull it across. Jump it in. Open out. One arm swing. At the top you switch. So it's one single, one switch. Single, hinge. We did it. All right, come into down dog. Listen to the cues. It's a little bit of a burpee to a row. We're gonna tap our right hand to left foot, plank, left arm up, left foot jumps forward, right hand rows. Plank, down dog, toe tap, right to left. Now left arm in plank, jump the left foot forward, row. You could do two. Jump back. Now left hand to right toe, walk forward, right arm lifts. Jump right foot forward, row two, bend over row one. Jump back, okay? Right hand to left foot, walk forward, left hand up, left foot jumps, flat back, pick up the weight two times. Again, left hand to right foot, Walk forward, right hand up, jump the right foot forward. Row two, you place your hand on your thigh for support. Jump back. Right left, left lifts, left jumps. Row, row. Jump back. Left hand to right toe, down dog tap. Plank balance. Jump in, oops. Jump in left, row right. Ah, all right. Again, this could be your practice round. Some of these are a little bit tricky, but the next one's nice and easy. We're going ski swings, curtsy swings. Pick up your weight at the side of your body, and you could do an opposite little hinge and tap. So we'll do some ski, and then we're gonna travel and add a curtsy. All right, so that'll kind of lead you into the movement and you can add some curtsies side to side come back to the ski swing and just tap tap and hinge so we get to turn the brain off here a little bit the way you're going start to curtsy again exhale we just have two more drills short and sweet fast and furious you have exhale Back to the toe tap, ski swing, hinge and thrust. As a curtsy. Whew. Set it down. Figure four squat. We're gonna snatch the weight all the way up, windmill switch hands. Again, some of these you will need to practice. Looks like this. Figure eight squat. Figure eight squat. Momentum to snatch. Turn your toe, elbow to knee, and then rack, switch hands. Figure eight squat, snatch, turn, look up at the weight, windmill, rack, switch hands. Figure eight squats for two. Snatch up, windmill, Switch hands on the way down. It doesn't have to flow directly into it. You can pause or you could try to make it nice and fluid. Turn your toe away from the kettlebell. Figure eight, snatch, windmill. Snatch, high pull all the way, windmill, yes. Okay, we got abs. We're gonna do the last exercise is sit-ups. Right hand takes the kettlebell, left hand out for support. Roll up, press up, hip thrust. Roll down, that's all we're doing. Exhale. Hips up, hips down. Roll down the spine. Of course, you do have the option to lift everything off, not just the hip. Your foot and hip can come down. Exhale, 
hip lift and roll the last one just for fun we're gonna do a Turkish get up to the top if you know what that is come with me here roll up hip lift now thread the leg back rise stand kneel left knee down left hand down thread back roll back and roll up okay switching sides this is it and i recommend if you have the time to do it one more time through just so you really get the moves and you get to use make good use of the time right leg right arm out left hand has the kettlebell roll up the first few you can just lift the hips up down use the forearm then the spine takes you down core slows down the movement maybe elevate to a high heel roll down exhale tuck the chin as the first part of the move with your exhale so that you are not hindering the move with the weight staying back the weight of your head is a lot so pull it forward and then maybe your whole hip and leg lift off the mat exhale hip lift to lift roll back all right this one go for the full turkish get up if you have that lift shoulder forward hip back stack up to stand right foot back lunge right hand down hinge right foot kicks through roll down one more time exhale lift we did it take a break how'd that feel all right shake it out circle out those wrists and then last thing we're gonna do without the timer is a little back roll to a crossover hip thrust now we don't need the sound so we're gonna switch at the top try to hold switch feet one knee bends the other step foot steps in front and we thrust the hips forward hinge to sit gently back the more your shoulders are forward the lighter your butt is back there all right let's go for 10. if you can hold at the top in that little reverse curl you'll get more abdominal work here we go start in boat hold right over left lean forward the rest of that that's 10. try not to rock too far i don't want the neck to get into it use your core to reverse curl here eight more right over left hip thrust sit back squeeze left over right sometimes you might get a longer moment here and sometimes you might just not really catch it <laughs> it might go faster get use your abdominals the best you can it should not be involving the neck keep it in the low body four more to go do the best you can if this move doesn't work it could just be maybe v up sit ups it could be russian twists whatever you got we have two more to go hip thrust lift right over left hip thrust hold and left over right come on back forward fold lift up through straight spine use your abdominals to roll on to your back three two and one pull everything apart inhale exhale tuck everything together little circles on the spine and we'll do some gentle spinal twists hands out to a t drop your knees to the right look left look to the sky pick up those heavy legs drop them to the left look to the right let your belly soften breathe deeply and two more a little quicker right and left great job let's take your whatever you can grab onto try to pull the feet towards your face in a reverse fold hamstring 
stretch here. And then whatever you can grab, happy baby. Knees into your shoulders or armpits. Try to retract your shoulders and your hips and tailbone down into the mat. Flex your feet, push, push, push. Rock to seated, cat cow here, around. Arch, heart back, heart through, shoulders back. Last one. And let's take a deep breath together. However you want to sit, inhale and exhale. Thanks so much. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you have time, definitely do it twice or do it again on another day. Since there were a couple that you probably need to practice and you might have lost a little bit of time on. Let me know how it went. Did you have fun with those little complex moves? I like stringing a couple together. So you have to think. It takes your mind off the hard work. And maybe next time use a heavier kettlebell if that feels right for you too. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Drop a comment. See you later. Bye.